Ultra-wide monitor support is finally here for Vision Pro. Now for this to work, you need to be on the beta for OS 2.2 on Vision, and then also on your Mac, you need to be on Sequoia 15.2. These are betas, but we got them installed, so let's see how this goes. So I was working on a little project here. Normal display shows up. Now we see Mac virtual display. This is a little bit different from before. If we click on this, We've got normal, wide, and ultra wide now. So let's go through the settings really quickly. First off, when we're in our normal display here, I liked using this as kind of a, you know, two screens side by side. This is plenty of workspace for me to you know, read clearly what we got over here. We can make the screen bigger, of course, all great. Now, if you wanna start working with three windows, that's where it starts to be kind of tough. We can do a little shortcut with magnets, by the way, I'm using for Windows management. So we can go here. And actually, this is interesting, when I'm trying to switch to just the third of the screen, which is a little shortcut here, it won't go any narrower. So this is half the screen, this is the third, can't be more narrow. All right, let's see if that looks better once we go to wide display. So it took about five seconds for that to kind of get into the wide display, but this is already looking really nice. And let's see if we can get three screens going here. So we've got a third, another third, and then another third here. And that is actually perfect. The screens are not overlapping, and I've got three really easy screens to read. The text looks very readable, so super happy with this. And again, we can make this really big, I mean, this is like a giant screen in front of me, and we are only in the wide right now. Let's go to ultra wide. The moment we've all been waiting for, ultra wide display all around us looks really good. Let's try to reset these screens, and we're gonna do one third, next third, and next third. So here we can see three screens easily viewable in front of us. Let's make this a little smaller actually. This is probably more like how I would be using this here. We got one, two, three displays. But what else can we do with this ultra wide screen here? Let me go ahead and actually turn on this environment here. Now we're in Yosemite. And as a reminder with Vision OS 2, you can now see your keyboard when you're looking down here. That is really useful. Let's also look at a big project I'm working on here. So this is for another video coming out soon. And with this ultra wide display, I can now look at a huge portion of my timeline, even when I'm zoomed in to individual clips here and just see so much more screen real estate. And this is just fantastic. Let's make this a little bigger. And yeah, I mean, there's just almost endless real estate. I don't think I'd want to go any wider than this, honestly. It just gives us so much space to work with. I am loving this. Let's also play a YouTube video really quickly and see how that looks. What I'm noticing right now, actually, is the audio is porting through the headset. That is new as well. Now, of course, we got some black bars here because this is not really an ultra-wide aspect ratio. So let's take a look at an ultra-wide video. 4K resolution. And that's still not covering the full area here. This is supposed to be two 4K monitors side by side. That's what they say in terms of resolution equivalency. So I'm having trouble finding any true ultra wide content on YouTube that would take advantage of all of this here. But we can see with this type of content, it still is really taking up a lot of space in our vision and it looks fantastic. So that's gonna be a quick view of the new ultra wide monitor setting for MacBook into Vision Pro with Vision OS 2.2. Let me know what you guys think. Is there anything else you guys would wanna use this feature for? If so, let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.